So we want to be able to show or hide the modal. And in general, when working with animations and React apps, we got multiple ways of doing that. The easiest and straightforward way is a way which has nothing to do with React, using CSS transitions and animations. Let me show this at the example of the modal. Let's say we want to have it fly in from the top and also change the opacity and do the same when we close it. We can do this by setting the opacity to one if modal open is attached and by using the transform property to translate Y, which slides it on the Y axis by zero. So this basically says use the position it should have by the way we positioned it in our HTML code. So the default position in this case. Now we can attach the same to modal closed, but now here opacity would be zero and translate Y could be minus 100% to move it up by 100% when we have the closed class attached. Now, if we save this and I click open modal and I click dismiss, we see no difference. Now let's actually also add a transition property to the modal. And this is a default CSS property, which allows us to specify some CSS properties which should not be applied instantly, but instead be animated over time. Again, this has nothing to do with React. And here we could say, we want to transition all properties. So no matter if we change the opacity or we transform this, we want to animate this. Then we can define the length. So let's say we want to do this over dot three seconds. You could also type 300 milliseconds. And all the details about transitions can be found in an article linked at the end of this module. This is just a quick introduction. This is of course not a CSS course. So over dot three seconds, and then we can define a timing function like ease out, which defines basically how the animation is distributed over that time. You could use linear to always move at the same speed, but with ease out, you actually make sure that you start faster than you end. Now with that, we make sure that we want to animate this. If we now save this file and we go back and click open modal and dismiss it, we see the same as before. The reason for this is that we also change display, display block and non. This basically prevents any animation from happening with transition because CSS doesn't recognize that it makes sense to animate it because to CSS it's hidden anyways by default and then it's instantly shown. So why animate anything in between? It would have been hidden until the animation ended anyways. And the display property can't be transitioned. So let's instead remove display here like this. If we now go back, we still don't see the modal, but if I click open modal, you see it slide in. And if I dismiss it, it slides out. The reason for this effect is that by default, the modal now has this opacity of zero since the modal close class is attached if the show property is false. And it is false as long as we haven't clicked the open modal button. So therefore we now got this nice animation. And now here is one important takeaway. Animating it like this is perfectly fine. And for this kind of animation, that might be the best possible solution even because you're using native CSS features, which tend to be quite well performing. And if you don't need more control than that, you got all you need here. We got animation for opening and closing the modal. So that's an important takeaway. CSS transitions, as you learned them in any CSS course you might have taken, are a fine way of animating a lot of things in CSS. And actually, we're also using a CSS transition in our course project for the modal. Still, I want to dive into some other options and also limitations of CSS transitions. So let's see what else we can use.